Hey guys and welcome in to why I love Halo 4. This game has only just come out only three days ago now and well I thought I'd do a video on it because well I'm bloody good at multiplayer and, and I'm not just saying that I, I'm actually very good. I'm okay at multiplayer. For the first time in my life I'm actually good at a first person shooter. So this is Halo 4. I'm going to give you a quick little run through here of all the different settings you have and the awesomeness of this game. Cat's on my wire which is not helping things. Um, Alright, so we have Star Campaign, Campaign, Infinity, Waypoint. So Waypoint's basically Halo Waypoint that's on your Xbox 360. Infinity is where all the multiplayer stuff goes down and Campaign is, well, the, the campaign. We won't get into that because I haven't actually played it yet so I have no say on it. One thing you're noticing down on the bottom right here is Roster. You press this button and it gives you a list of all your friends and what they're doing. Uh, so right now I have someone called Anthrax, he's in the game and I can invite him right now. Uh, and I have uh, five, yeah, yeah, five people in, uh, in lobbies, or actually online doing other stuff. It's very slimline and very nice. I really like this this system. Uh, and you can also set up your party in the party settings. Uh, so this is so sleek and lovely. I really like it. Uh, Xbox Live Marketplace, of course, that's getting content and stuff, which there probably is already, annoyingly, with games like this. There's probably content out there. Um, so the main thing I want to kind of get into today is the multiplayer. The multiplayer I played quite a lot of last night and uh, well, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had on multiplayer in any game. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show you some gameplay of me playing it uh, via theatre, because of course I have a game set up that I actually did well in, and I want to kind of show that one off. Uh, what you have here is of course your war games. These are everything that Halo's done, like uh, Slayer, and of course all the domination and kind of capture the flag, kind of stuff like that. Uh, that's where all, your, that's where, all, that's where all your war games are. See, that's very hard to say. Uh, Spartan Ops is basically kind of like multiplayer missions. I, I'm not particularly interested myself, uh, but it apparently goes on with the story. Uh, Forge is, of course, Forge. You can build your own maps and everything else, which I was never very good at, so I won't be using that. And Theatre, which is probably one of my most used features of the game. Uh, this allows me to record gameplay I've done and I've done well in. I can also record small snippets of that gameplay and then upload it to the Halo website. Uh, so what we're going to do here is, I'll show you quickly the settings here. What we've got, you've got custom game where you can set up exactly what settings you want and you have find a game and you have infinity, infinity slayer, loads of different game modes here, oddball, king of the hill, team slayer pro, infinity slayer, stuff like that. Basically all the settings you love, know and love. Big inf infinity slayer is uh, bigger maps and they brought back one of the maps from Halo 3 which I really really like and they did a very good job on it and it looks exactly the same but they, they've added some new vehicles. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you some gameplay and kind of talk about it when the game's going. It's about nine minutes long, so we'll, we'll, I'll show you that now. And uh, here we go. All right, so car, it, it's Haven that the game was on. Uh, and this one I decided to use the assault rifle because everyone goes on about how bad it is and I really wanted to kind of prove it wasn't that bad and I actually did very well with it. Uh, my favourite my favorite gun at the moment is the battle rifle though, uh, I'm using that quite a bit. But this is Infinity Slayer uh, and uh, well this is, uh, this is my gameplay of it so here we go. And uh, what it does here, it loads up the game for you to watch whenever and also I have a character selection kind of thing so I can actually right now I can go in here and uh, change my loadouts and everything else really quick really simple you actually have to buy stuff it's not unlocked automatically you have to go in there and buy things with points you earn from the online and then you can choose to spend those points on whatever very like Call of Duty Black Ops uh, in some ways so yeah this is uh, this is my game and here we go As you can see, the graphics are very nice. Uh, they've, they've done a very good job. Some of the maps in this game look immense. Uh, so I, I really enjoy the game in terms of its graphical uh, finesse. Let me just check how long this is. Yes, it is. It's 7 minutes 51. Um, I really hope this is the right game I've got here. Uh, I, I recently got a new perk, so that's the one I'm using there. 
I get myself owned there, which I wasn't very happy about. As you can see, that perk basically makes me fly forwards, get a kill there. Um, this is probably this is the game with the most kills I've gotten uh, so far, and I'm <laughs> I really like it. Get owned again there, but you know, as you can see, the world looks very nice. The graphics are very good, and the uh, the animations are, are okay. The death animations, some of the death animations are very similar, um, which is a bit annoying. I just get taken out from all different angles. Uh, I pick up some plasma grenades there because I, 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 ha I have my custom loadout. For my custom loadout, I normally have an assault rifle, that kind of jet forward thing, and plasma grenades. Uh, so I completely miss that guy, but I end up chasing him down here. Uh, I think he nurses me. Yeah, he nurses me. I think I die here. Which is a bit annoying. Oh no, I, I get an assist. I don't know how I did that since I punched him in the head, but there you go. Um, I just blow up randomly. I don't even know what killed me. Um, so there you go. Uh, yeah, I, I really love the guns. The, the assault rifle sounds amazing. That really is awesome in this game. They, they did a really good job with the sound effects. Um, and I see that guy with a grenade he blows up. I thought that was quite cool. Um, I then dodge out of the way of that before it blows up. That's the only thing I could really see that perk coming in useful for is getting out of the way quickly. I don't know why I didn't get any assist there on that guy because I did I, I did put a pump a lot of bullets into him. Uh, and I come behind this guy and I come in for the kill and I smack him down. He's beat down. See, it's really pointless, that perk. I don't know what, what the point of it is, that shield unlock, whatever it's called. Uh, that guy tried falling me, that didn't work. Um, <laughs> what I love about this game also is the ordinance. On the top, so on the top of the screen there, you basically get an option of three random uh, things. I, what I got was the overshield, because you know the overshield kicks ass. Uh, it allows you to keep going that little bit longer. Um, but there's a few others like uh, uh, increased damage, which is really useful if you have a, if you have a crappy weapon. And uh, there's also uh, the sp the uh, the sword, which I have gameplay for, and I'll show you that guys uh, in the weekend. And uh, which I which I own quite a few people with. And it basically gives you a few different guns that you wouldn't normally get your hands on, uh, like the sniper rifle and stuff like that. Uh, I end up killing him. I don't know how, but there you go. He ends up dying, and I get points for it, so I'm I'm, too, I'm happy with that. Um, I suck with the grenades, look at that, I just completely just throw it on the ground hoping it's going to do something and, and well it doesn't. I, I then jump down and uh, try and come from, if from behind, BAM! Oh, assassinated, ah, oh, look at that. Um, it's that kind of moment in the Moi player where you kind of are playing and you get some awesome like melee attacks and then you come in for the assassination and it really pulls the game together. I was screwed here because I could not take on both. I took on one, killed him, but I was just way too low health to be uh, go against that guy. Um, I really love that kind of fluidity about the game, and I don't think Call of Duty has that. I've never really felt that kind of, whoa, my god, that was awesome moment, you know? Because I, I, you can't do something like that in, uh, in, in, in Call of Duty. You can't come up and assassinate someone. I really like kill zones, uh, death animations when you, when you melee someone, and this game is very good as well in terms of the assassinations. And you feel that crunch when you smack someone in the head. You really feel that crunch with your, with your gun butt. Um, so, I mean, the, the melee feels really nice, same as Cool Zone, same as, um, there was another game that did it, uh, I think it was Medal of Honor, uh, had a really cool kind of melee knife attack uh, in the single player anyway. Um, and I really like the nice melee feel to it, and it really is good when you, when you have that guy's shields down, you know you have his shields down, you know you can take him out. And I love that feel, I stick him on the balls there and he blows up. That was pretty awesome. Um, and there's another bit where I jump down on, on top of the guy and then just start bombarding him. I completely fail here and miss. Uh, I thought I had that jet thing and of course it wasn't working. I'd already used it. Uh, so I ended up dying there. Um, would I recommend this game? Uh, I think I would. Uh, the gameplay is very good. The multiplayer is very fully fledged and has a lot of cool features. There's a lot of people playing it, obviously, it's Halo. Um, and it's a lot better in my eyes than Reach. The, the controls do take a bit of getting used to, which is a bit annoying. Um, I don't particularly like the controls. Uh, they've kind of messed around with them. I get that guy, he had a bloody sword, so I'm kind of lucky I got him. But I did actually kill him. I know he killed me, but I got rid of his sword. And I, that was the threat to my team, so that was good. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think kind of... I, I this is probably the most fun I've had on a first-person shooter in a, quite a while, and I, I'm, I, I know that I can play this and actually be quite good. 
Um, I'm not too bad. Yeah, I get a few deaths, obviously, but I'm not, it's not like Call of Duty where I get literally two or three kills a game. That's it. And I'm kind of left wanting something. And even if I don't kill someone in this, you still get kind of gifts from the ordnance drop, that kind of thing. You kind of get, it's kind of your kill streak in some ways. Uh, which is really cool, and you don't have to kill people to get that, you know, and it has to be good to get the ordnance drop, it just comes in every two minutes. Although I have noticed sometimes it doesn't, I, I've, I've been waiting for quite a while, I haven't got a kill for ages, and then I get a kill and it suddenly gives it to me, so I don't know what that is. Um, in some of the gameplay I've got for you guys, I'm doing a lot of vehicle combat, I want to show, show you how many different vehicles and stuff there were. I come down that guy, bam, straight in the face, that was one of my favourite moments from that match. It was just kind of that awesome kick-ass, booyah, behind you, douchebag kind of moments where I just come over and smack him in the nuts. Uh, so yeah, uh, those, these guys just fail because of course they can't even see me. Um, so that's okay, I take down his shields but I don't kill him annoyingly. Um, and yeah, I mean, th yeah, this game, amazing. Uh, and I really recommend people going out and buying it. Should you buy an Xbox for this? Wait until Black Ops 2 is out. If Black Ops 2, if Black Ops 2 is a disappointment, then I would recommend getting this instead. Um, I actually stick that guy there when he actually when he jetpacks past me. I didn't realise I got the hit on him, but I did, which is awesome. Um, so uh, I don't know with this. Um, I'm not sure if you should go out and buy an Xbox, especially for this game, if you're a PS3 if you're a PS3 person only. Get Black Ops, see if you like it. If you don't, then go for this. This is definitely the best, second best shooter at war. It depends. It depends on what Black Ops 2 is like. Uh, Black Ops 2, of course, everyone's going on about being the best shooter, maybe the best shooter, and oh my god, oh my god. So, it may, may turn out that it's very good. Uh, what I have here is a scatter shot. Uh, it's a uh, Promethean weapon. It's, it's okay. It's a bit hit and miss, to be honest. I wasn't too fond of it. Um, it gets the kills. But it takes very long. It takes a long time. It's like a shotgun, but it fires balls instead of instead of um, shots. So I don't really know what that's all about. Uh, I come down here, bam, and I don't actually kill him annoyingly. I thought I could do the same trick as I did earlier, but alas, no, I didn't. Um, so yeah, this game is amazing, and uh, I recommend it to everyone who has an Xbox. Buy it now, really. Go buy it. I'm actually wondering if I should. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering if I should actually go out and get Black Ops 2. I don't know. So that game, I kicked some ass and I was okay. I, I think I had 22 kills in that game, uh, from what I remember from the scoreboard. Of course, the scoreboard doesn't actually come up on this thing annoyingly. Uh, but there you go. Uh, some other gameplay. I'll kind of give you a sneak peek at some gameplay that I'll be showing on my channel very soon. Um, here, I can kind of load up different things. Uh, and I can show you kind of snippets of gameplay. Um, here we go, let's load this up. It takes quite a while to get through the different menus. There is a second disc, and I don't really know what that's meant for, to be honest. I think I, I put it in first, thinking it was the multiplayer, and it installed it, and then it told me to take it out. So I'm literally guessing that is the installation disc. So I accidentally put in the disc, the right disc first without even knowing, because it's not a manual with this game. You don't get anything telling you what to do, which pisses me off to be honest in getting in these kind of games it really does uh so i i'm not too sure uh i got ragnarok uh Ragn ragnarok uh which is the map from halo 3 uh i've got some gameplay on that and i can't wait to show you guys that there's a lot of vehicle combat in there um haven uh complex i got two games on there which went quite well uh there's one game where i completely own with an energy sword and i want to show you guys that and also i have one on solace um, so those gameplays will be coming up very soon on my channel, probably tomorrow. I'll try and upload all four of them. I think it's four, yeah, it's all four. Thanks for watching. Why I love Halo 4? Well, because it's fucking brilliant. Thanks for watching, but until next time, will you be getting Halo 4? That's me. Comment down below. Ow, da.